Now let's actually start looking at uh, how we would represent a digital image as a function. We have already looked at that I've given all images an axis, uh, basically kind of traversing in continuous variables x and y, or indexes in the discrete space like a matrix with i or j. We've also discussed that I want to start representing its image as a matrix. So here is basically a six by six a matrix. Now I filled this matrix in with some values. Again, there are values that vary from zero to 255, the intensity values of each and every pixel of this six by six, uh, just a sample image that we want to look at. Now what we want to try to see is, okay, what would this kind of a function or a matrix have in terms of uh, functional characteristics and how would we actually look at that signal. One way of looking at this would be in the continuous norm form. And remember when I actually previously showed you this example of just doing a slice and looking at the variables across it actually generated a plot very similar to this. So if I was to just look at the this axis of six values, and this of course is just a pictorial of a much bigger image, it would start showing you a continuous signal uh, varying in different intensity values. And of course, the way if we can actually represent that continuous signal, there are various ways uh, that is possible and we'll be looking at that in a future lecture. Discrete signal on the other hand would just be these discrete functions at each and every index value with no continuation going on between them. But again, it captures the whole lot of detail in a discrete form for an image like this. Also another way to look at the same matrix or same kind of information would be uh, looking at it with a height map on an image. So again, in this instance, what I do is I look at the y-axis and the x-axis. Uh, I've just turned it around just to help us visualize this better. And on the third dimension, the top one, I would be basically showing the intensities. That's what this image represents. If you look at the same mandrel image, now remember the intensity values of one or higher, zero would be black. So here, wherever the blacks are, you see kind of a, uh, uh, a valley, and then you start seeing peaks and a lot of detail. Uh, where the whites are, and actually you can see kind of the ridges forming. So in essence, this starts making it look like a small hills and mountains and ranges and stuff like that. Uh, we will be looking at it more carefully, and I'll actually be even showing you animated versions of this in a bit that will start kind of explaining what are the values of these types of, or what is the value and what are the advantages of this kind of an image.